Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is a He's going again. Notre Dame has scored. To this day, I still say it's the two best teams ever to play each other. Because if you look on both sides, both teams, you know, the All-Americans, the Hall of Famers, the All-Pros, whatever, I mean, those are two great, great football teams. Notre Dame, Michigan State, the most anticipated, publicized, and discussed collegiate football game of the decade has finally arrived. Duffy Dougherty's undefeated and number two ranked Spartans clash head on with Araposegian's undefeated and number one ranked Fighting Irish. I had butterflies on the Monday before the game. Normally it was a, f a Friday, maybe a Saturday event before the game, but with all the hype and attention it was given, I had butterflies on Monday before the game. The week of that game uh, was unbelievable from the standpoint of interest. We were having press conferences every day after every practice. I got to the point I didn't know what I was going to tell the press uh, from one day to the next because they were there all the time. And uh, the one thing that I couldn't anticipate but you do during the course of a season realize the consequences of injuries. We didn't expect the injuries that we had. I mean, it started out with Nick Eddy, who was a great All-American running back, and our starting left halfback, uh, who had missed a game or two because of his shoulder. As he got off the train, he winds up spraining his shoulder again, and he was out for the whole game. In the first quarter, we lose our center, George Gedeke, and a key great football player, we lose Terry Hanratty. Rocky Blyer comes in to replace Eddie. He gets an injury. Fate plays a trick on Hanratty and Notre Dame. As the Irish passer turns the corner, big number 95, Bubba Smith, slams him down, causing a shoulder separation and forcing Coach Parsegian to go with Coley O'Brien at quarterback. When Hanratty went out, Coley O'Brien went in as his backup, did a terrific job, but he also had just been diagnosed as a diabetic. And I was told by the medical team that it is a possibility that uh, he may uh, get tired and lose his coordination as the game wears on. The last seven passes that Coley threw in that game were incompletions. Seymour is there, but the pass was high. And there's Era Barsignan. And that really concerned me, and I was, I, it made me even more cautious. It's a battle of defenses in the fourth quarter. Jimmy Ray tries to pass his Michigan State team to victory near the end of the game, but Tom Shane intercepts for Notre Dame. The spirit of the team prevailed. It was like a challenge that needed to be met. It was having playing against adversity because we had people who were out of the game. Duffy Doherty punted the football with a minute and 33 seconds left, and he knew he wasn't getting the football back. So uh, Duffy, in effect, went for the tie. Era did not go for the tie, in my estimation. And now Era Parsegian faces the same decision that Duffy Doherty had a few moments ago. Do you kick it away, or do you try to keep possession of the football? We, we didn't go for a tie. The game ended in the tie. And people have forgotten also that on fourth down and one or two, we went for it from our own 39-yard line. That's how I felt that I did not want to give the ball back because of the kicking ability of their, uh, of their kicker. It was like, what happened here? What, what just took place? I mean, we end up in a tie and nothing was decided. Uh, we didn't win, we didn't lose, we tied. And it was kind of an unfinished kind of feeling, if I can explain it that, that regards. It was a really an eerie feeling and uh, you know, it's, it's really hard to describe. And, you know, unless you were really there. As time goes on, the old mules go out to the pasture, kind of, you know, and, and they, re they remember you were a halfback. And, and uh, I, I would, uh, uh, or I am, you know, introduced as, oh, this is Bob Gosley. He caught the touchdown pass in the game of the century against Michigan State. You know, and you say, well, I also scored 26 touchdowns, was the leading rusher, the leading scorer, all-purpose record holder for 15 years, broken by a Heisman Trophy winner named Tim Brown. But, you know, time moves on, time moves on. And in the same way with me, when I look back at the great Leahy teams, you know, I don't know those great players and great plays and, and, and uh, iconic moments like we experienced. But, uh, but to be recognized in a part of Notre Dame history is, uh, is an honor. Oh!